Yo, what is good out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going over some pretty important topics. Uh, overall, this is the video about the daily sell limit. Uh, I've had a few requests to actually make this recently and more than a few. A lot of people have been, you know, really wondering and I definitely tried to get some info right away when the DLC first came out, the nightclub DLC. And uh, yeah, we're finally getting information now. Just so you guys know, there is some brand new information that just came out last night about, you know, some of the new changes to the daily sell limit and uh, dupe detect really for the most part. OK, dupe detect really had the biggest change when this new DLC came out. But uh, yeah, first of all, I just want to say uh, before we get into the daily sell limit video, thank you so much. We have hit 40,000, 40,000 subscribers on the channel. It's crazy to even say it. Uh, I'm just I'm so proud man. I love what's been going on recently with the channel and just overall in general uh, Thank you to everybody who's you know, who's been a part of this uh, All my subscribers and my crew all my closest friends everybody man You guys definitely help me, you know Keep growing this channel and keep my hopes up and spirits up and you know keep doing what I love really That's what YouTube's about. I love making videos. So you guys really let me uh, You know make that dream happen so apart from that, we are going to just go ahead and get into this daily settlement video finally. But I just wanted to kind of, you know, go over a few things before that. Like I said before, this is highly requested. A bunch of people have been asking me for this. Uh, very important info for anybody who dupes cars or has used a frozen money glitch. All right. The past uh, couple frozen money glitches, I'd say, are affected maybe even before that if you still have vehicles from there. But uh, yeah, new info just came out last night. Big shout out to Nick Gore and his whole crew and everybody who, you know, helps him out and stuff. People who sacrifice accounts to actually get us this info. So big shout out to you guys. OK, now the video is going to be split up a little bit. Uh, we're going to first kind of go into the daily sell limit rules, what you need to know, what not to do, uh, how to sell cars, how I sell cars and then dupe detect probably the expo exploit levels and all the new info. OK, we'll be in that last section. But uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and actually get into this first part right here, which is the daily sell limit itself and the rules that you want to follow, things you don't want to do as well, things that could potentially be really, really bad. So uh, some of the most important things to remember is just the amount of cars to sell in what time. So two cars every two hours is safe. Now, the way you look at that is say you do not remember because right now these are i'm throwing a bunch of times at you two cars in two hours is safe eight cars in 30 hours is safe and you're gonna say well when does that 30 hour period begin when does it end how does that work so if you're not sure if you're still in your 30 hour time frame of selling cars you need to just stop selling for a day or two so 24 to 48 hours just stop selling cars once you've done that you know that your your time hasn't begun yet so you can go ahead and sell a car and keep that time because that time that you sold your first car, that's when the 30 hour period began. So from that first sale of that first car to plus 30 hours, that is your time frame to only sell eight cars max. That's how that works. OK, so a little, you know, some little tips about this. So we recommend eight cars max. If you've ever hit a daily sell limit and you know you've hit a daily sell limit because when you go into Los Angeles Customs, you'll go to sell a car and it'll say you've hit your daily sell limit. It literally gives you a message and it doesn't let you sell the car. If you've ever gotten that, we don't recommend eight cars. We recommend seven max for you because it's very easy to hit your sell limit again by selling the max amount every single day. So we only recommend seven cars max if you must be doing it that way. But two cars in two hours is safe. You can even sell two back to back for the most part. That's what I usually do. All right, just sell two back to back and then you're good to go for two hours. Do not sell any more for two hours and then you can do the same thing. I only sell two cars max a day, maybe four if I want to sell two more at the end of the day. But I'm usually a two car, you know, a day kind of person. All right, I don't like to do any more than that. But if you want to oversell, you're going to be overselling at your own risk. So I don't really recommend doing that. But like I said, that is all up to you. Now, 
we're gonna start kind of talking about how to sell and how I sell I just basically told you how I would sell two cars you know in two hours and that's a pretty good you know pretty good way to kind of limit yourself guys you don't need to sell more than that each dupe each LG retro is what oh, almost a million dollars that's a million dollars you just made in a few seconds all right that is way more than you can make in the game at all and when you were talking about deluxos for frozen money same deal except even more of a bigger deal you're getting over five million dollars all right so it's way way different all right like you do not need to sell seven or eight cars a day you can make plenty of money selling one or two a day and be completely safe and right now we kind of highly recommend selling only one or two a day because things have changed okay and we're gonna go over the changes right now I'm actually gonna put them up on the screen for you so check this out this is by Nick Gore this was updated yesterday all right August 10th 2018 so what they have done here we go we're gonna read it together they fixed the bug in the code that would falsely dupe detect people dupe detect is now working as design for any of you that have been losing plates randomly this is why it was random people being being dupe detected for you know falsely for no reason that has been fixed so dupe detect is working as it should at the moment all right now custom plates versus generic plates it's personal preference that is the thing it depends on what you're selling how you got the dupe if you got your dupe by doing a merge glitch you're getting you're getting random generic plates go ahead and use those but if you're doing a custom plates dupe glitch then obviously you need custom plates so we have had a few changes and you know right here it's actually going to go you know we're going to go into detail so here we go each sale stores vehicle model and plate text okay so now these things are being tracked that's what that means. Each sale stores the vehicle model itself, so what kind of car you're, you're selling, as well as the plate that was on it when you sold it, okay? The last seven sales are accessed when selling, so the game remembers back seven sales once you've sold that car to kind of mix and match to see if you had the same model and the same plate, so it's, it is detecting that now. A successful sale that matches both the vehicle model, plate text will trigger dupe detection. That's what I just said. If the game looks back at your last seven sales and sees that you just sold the car, say it was a retro, all the same upgrades and all the same, you know, custom plate, then the game detects it, okay? And it actually is considered a dupe detect. Now, here's what they're doing now. This is very interesting. Dupe detection will block you from selling another vehicle for 30 hours and remove the option to change the license plate to a custom plate. So it kind of, it, it'll let you sell later on. You know, it just blocks you from selling for 30 hours and then it removes your uh, your license plate options. I don't know if it's if it's your license plate option for just that pl that car or if it does that just overall. I believe it would do that for overall if it's dupe detection, but it still does allow you to sell after 30 hours. OK, although you can sell again after 30 hours, the pre the previously stored information will remain. So the game will still remember the last car that you just sold you better not sell another car or things can get even worse that's how you get an exploit level and you get into the the you know one or two car day club you do not want to be only forced to sell one or two cars a day that is not the way to do it so uh, apart from that we're going to keep going have a variety of custom plates and pay attention to their location so if you must sell your dupes or your you know yeah if you must sell your dupes with plates like with a custom plate because that's what the glitch entailed for you to have custom plates you better be rotating those so make sure you have eight custom plates that you can successfully rotate and pay attention to when you're selling those dupes and what plates are on them also modifications we recommend changing the a few modifications on there you don't have to change much all right he actually does say that uh here in these notes right here but generic plates that have different texts are safe for the most part but could still hit dupe detection depending on how they were created okay so if you guys don't understand that basically as he's saying generic plates that have different texts are safe that's because they're randomly generated so for the most part i don't know how the generating system works but they're all random so they should be all different which would help you be safe but they could still hit dupe detection depending on how they were created. So there is a chance that a randomly generated plate could have a duplicate, all right? And if that's the case, 
then that is a dupe detect. That's how you get dupe detected. Two generic plates that are the same, okay? That's how the game detects you. Now, it's not necessary, but I always recommend making each dupe unique by one or two changes to the vehicle. Um, example, paint color and spoiler. That's what I was telling you. Mix up vehicle modifications. You're still making a crap load of money on each one of these dupes. Just spend a little bit, you know, changing up some of the modifications. You want to confuse the system, okay? You don't want to get detected. It's, you know, right now this is the information we have, so just change up the modifications and the plate if needed. If you have custom plates, make sure you rotate your custom plates. Do not sell the same custom plate, I'd say, within a day or two of each other, all right? I'd definitely say to space it out. Now, selling three vehicles in any two-hour period will be recorded as a threshold cross. After eight threshold crosses, you your exploit level will be raised. So... This is what I was talking about. The threshold is 120 minutes, which is two hours. If you sell three or more vehicles, you'll hit that. So you don't. if you do it multiple times, that's when you start getting your exploit level up and up and up. And eventually they take away your plates for a while. And you do not want to get your plates taken away. Okay. And one of the very important things that is going on now are frozen money cars. Okay. Frozen money purchases seem to be tracked okay so here's what nick said he said i found code that indicates these vehicles are being marked at the time of being you know are being purchased okay so right when you're buying these cars it's like boom rockstar knows you just bought these cars and they have basically a tracker on them so that they know that you have these cars and they're looking to see what you're going to do with them obviously sell them if you can get a variety of custom plates on them, it might help, but the detection will only get more stringent as each update is released. So basically meaning, you know, the more updates we get, they're going to be cracking down on this frozen money stuff, okay? They do not like frozen money. They are tracking our purchases now. I haven't sold another Deluxo since I've learned all this new information because I'm waiting for more to come out. Now, current limitations, one per 30 hours, sell more at your own risk. Releasing this info would only help account sellers and force action on illegitimate vehicle sales. Those are for people making accounts and stuff. So it is different for them as well because now selling these cars is much harder. So it's going to be different making these accounts, okay? For those, excuse me, for those in the business. But he's recommending only sell one of these per 30 hours. And I kind of agree with him. Maybe maybe even less maybe one every two days you know there are over five million so you don't need to oversell these things so anybody with frozen money cars i definitely recommend sell very very little one per 30 hours maybe one per 60 hours oversell at your own risk but that is all the new info we have all right so i hope that you guys paid attention and listened because everything in this video is very important i covered a lot of the beginner stuff in the beginning and then the second half of the video is mostly for all the newer guys all right but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. That's going to be it for me. Big shout out to Nick Gore and all his crew. Uh, my name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope TTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.